Hi, I'm Rick Kastner with SDI with another video. Today we're going to be, we're in a, just an average gunsmith shop, um, which you've seen in another video, which we'll link to, in the description box below. But I wanted to walk you through this shop and just kind of talk about the things, the general things that we, we are finding on the bench. And this gives you kind of an idea of what your average investment will look like when you're here when you're starting up a gunsmith shop so first and foremost over here we have actually a relatively big ultrasonic cleaner um, this is really nice for breaking that carbon buildup uh, down really fast on uh, um, on firearms um, this isn't big enough for a whole barrel um, for a rifle rifle length barrel but you could pack a lot of pistols or even pistol caliber carbines potentially in here um, and so you can do your cleaning this could be running while you're doing other things so this is working for you and and turning out quite a bit of money cleaning firearms is the bread and butter of a gunsmith shop so this is a workhorse right here they're not super cheap they're they're they can be quite expensive so but but a, definitely a good investment Right here we have our barrel vise. So in here, in conjunction with your barrel wrench, um, you can actually take barrels off of actions, uh, bolt action rifles or whatever, and uh, re-barrel it, re-chamber it, uh, do any number of things. So that's something they have mounted. You want these mounted on a solid surface that's not gonna shake. You want it to, to stay put. Um, we have right here down below a, a pair of calipers. You use calipers all the time. Uh, digital calipers are nice because it'll be a little bit more accurate than dial calipers. I personally like dial calipers just because um, they're manual. They're not gonna run out of batteries. Right here we have a regular gun rest or gun vise. Um, it's nice for mounting optics. Uh, to you put the, the firearm in here and you you can just work uh, without the firearm flopping all over the place and or laying on the side and you can mount your optics and square them up um, here we have a whole range of, of different punches we have brass punches which I've talked about in a in another video uh, brass punches are nice for not mauling uh, or galling your your uh, metal components, aluminum or steel components on your firearms. This will leave a little smudge of brass and you can clean that off with oil. Um, you have roll pin punches. So you guys will see right here at the end, um, there's a little nipple there that'll actually rest inside of the roll pin in the center. And it's, it's nice to guide that roll pin into the hole. Um, and then you just have your regular uh, steel punches here. You have a whole range of, of uh, screwdriver, different screwdriver sets or setups, uh, thin bits, wide bits. Again, in another video, I was talking about how important it is to fit your screwdriver to the, the, the correct screwdriver to that screw or else you're going to booger it. You're going to mess up the screw head. So it's, it's very important. It's not a one size fits all approach. You need to have different, different size screws. Um, you can see over here in his shop, he actually has a setup for checkering. Checkering is something that you don't see very often anymore for the average gunsmith. But if you can definitely get into checkering, I personally love woodworking. It's, it's relaxing, um, very rejuvenating. And so, even if you tinker around with it, it's, it's a, a cool thing that you can offer your customers. Um, you have your heat gun. This, this can be used for uh, making uh, holsters, Kydex holsters, or, or actually even if you have a stuck screw, um, you heat that product up with maybe a little penetrating oil and, uh, and you can hopefully get that, that screw loose or that fastener loose. Um, over here, we have a pair of OptiVisors, which provide some magnification. Um, these are really nice when you're, when you're, trying, you're looking into that de detailed part and, uh, and you, you wanna see really closely up, you know, like what you're doing. 
these op divisors are really nice you can flip them up when you want to just regular you see regular and then flip them down when you want to get more detailed um, up here we have some uh, punch blocks punch blocks are really nice uh, I mentioned in another video if you don't have a punch block a roll of duct tape or, or uh, adhesive tape will work just fine but these uh, punch blocks are really nice you can make your own too this is just a nylon and if you have a mill or somewhere to somehow to cut a groove and just drill some holes you can do that um, and then your regular bench vise right here if I had a preference, I would have this bench vise and I would also have a woodworking vise on the other side that with, with uh, cork jaws um, and having both of those setups is really nice. Um, the woodworking vices swivel, they, they adjust to the different contours, different angles. So that's the general setup. One other thing to, to mention is all your chemicals. Over here, um, you have your your cold blue um, wood finish. You have acetone is very important um, in a gunsmith shop. Also denatured alcohol. You'll have your hoppies cleaning solution, um, cleaning brushes, things like that. An air compressor is always very important in a gunsmith shop. You're always using an air compressor for something. So that's a general breakdown. As you can see, it can be pretty simple. Um, getting into the firearms world it, or the gunsmithing world I should say is it it shouldn't take that much expense now for every gunsmith there's always aspirations to get that lathe to get that mill to get the bluing tanks to get the Cerakote booth to get the bead blaster uh, different things like that but when you're starting out, it's it's okay to start simply. Like I said, simple cleaning, simple optics mounting, uh, gunsmith repairs. When you're getting uh, parts from Midway USA, Brownells, uh, Numeric, uh, any of those places, um, that's the bread and butter of a firearms or a gunsmith shop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, please, please be sure to like and subscribe to future videos or to see future videos. And also be sure to check out sdi.edu and to view our um, certificate program as well as our associate's degrees. And we look forward to seeing you at SDI and welcome to the family.